Hi, this is Passy's World of ICT, and welcome to part five of our horse race game tutorial. Okay, now in part five here, this is what's going to happen. Basically, we're going to introduce horse two so we can actually have a race. So let's press start, and then we'll get straight on to the right arrow key to race our horse. Okay, so our brown horse, horse number two, has won. We have a winner. All right, now let's just uh, do that again. And this time we'll just have a check what happens if... Um, Okay, our brown horse is running. Oh no, he's going backwards. So we have got the left arrow happening there as well. And this time the gray horse wins and that's a photo finish. All right, so let's uh, get to work on this straight away in Adobe Flash. All right, what we need to do um, first is uh, load up where we we're up to previously. All right, so at the end of the part three video, this is what we had and at that stage, all we've got is a gray horse running and then it gets to the finish line and collides with that little, um, remember we set up a red rectangle in here and we get the winner message appearing. So we're going to work from here. All right, so you need to load up um, what you had at the end of part three. First thing we need to do is file and import and import to library. <clears throat> the horse we need is horse 2 PNG. Um, just say OK on this screen and if we go to our library now, um, horse 2 is in there. We can drag Horse 2 uh, out onto the stage. Just uh, move something there. Bring it back. Okay, and we need to get Horse 2 positioned just so his tail's kind of um, hanging off the end of the screen there will do. Alright, now the first thing we need to do is, this horse at the moment is a graphic image, we need to make it a movie clip. So modify, convert to symbol, uh, this sort of stuff should be quite familiar now. And Horse um, two underscore MC, okay. And straight away, go down to the movie clip, the properties, and we need to give this a name so that, you know, in action script, it'll be able to find that guy. So it's horse two underscore MC. All right, that's all we need to do on the stage. We now need to go up to the layers here and make sure we clicked in to the actions frame two here. All right, we were working just then on the stage in frame two to get the horse on. We now need to be in actions and we go window and actions and that'll take us into the action script. Now, most of the code we need, um, we developed back in part four. All right, part four, we're looking at moving the horse around with the arrow keys, and we had that really enormously huge action script that we worked through. So let's add it in piece by piece. First, we need our Boolean um, variables. All right, so let's take them and go across to the action script here, and they will be getting added in right at the start here, maybe after um, the visible message initialization. All right, so we don't need an up arrow and a down arrow, so we can just highlight them and press delete or backspace and remove them. Okay then, now the next bit of code that we need is um, <coughs> these event listeners. Okay, remember the event listeners are um, used there to check whether they've pressed a key, so we'll just grab them and we'll put those in. All right, now, it's always a good idea, just as you add pieces, uh, just close this down and just do control enter and see what's happening so far. And we have an error here that we need to work out. So undefined property of key press down is the message here, all right? So let's go back into the action script. And what's happening there is, oh, key press down is a function and key pressed up is a function. We haven't added those functions in yet, all right? So that's okay. Let's go back to the code now and get those functions. The key press down function and the key pressed up function. And remember that function checks whether they've pressed a key and also whether or not it's an arrow key. Now get these two brackets at the bottom, otherwise you'll be uh, missing these curly brackets and you'll get an error in flash because of that. All right, it'll have a doesn't end properly with brackets or something like that. All right, now with these keys, we do not need the up arrow and we don't need the down arrow. So we will just take out um, those things, but be careful, don't take out this curly bracket down here because that belongs with that guy up there. So we'll just take those out and <coughs> 
kind of likewise on this one, we don't need up arrow and we don't need down arrow, okay? So again, make sure we've got the right brackets and I think we might be missing a bracket. We'll soon find out here. Let's um, just control enter test that. Yes, we have a problem. And see, this is a typical error, expecting right brace before end of program, right? If you get that error, what it means is that you have to um, just go through the action script you added and check that for each open curly bracket, you have a closed one at the end. Now, this isn't the closed one at the end. This one is the one for this guy here. So we're missing the actual end of function bracket, all right? So we need to... Um, Add that in, and I'm pretty sure that's going to fix it, okay? So you have to go through your code. Just look at the things you just added in. All right, so that's fixed it. Now, horse two's there, but he ain't moving yet, okay? So let's work on that. Uh, window actions. All right, so in this section here, what we need to add now is we go back to our code. We need to set up the event listener so horse two can be moved as soon as uh, we start the animation. All right, so um, there's a function here, move horse to. So we need to make sure we get that function as well. Otherwise, we're going to have an error. So we pretty much need the rest of the code now. So we'll just control C that out of here and control V into there. So what we've done is we've um, copied all the action script out of um, tutorial four just into a text file there, and then we can just grab what we need out of the text file. So we've got the event listener, uh, move it horizontally, now set up a speed, um, so it's gonna set up a speed value. We don't have to have 12, we could change that later on. But at the moment, if you have a look, uh, let's see, down here it is set to 12, all right? Remember we did all that in tutorial four. Now, um, we don't need the Y coordinates information, so we'll just take that out. And again, down here, we're not using the up arrow and um, the down arrow. So we'll take them and make sure we're moving, removing even brackets. So an open and a close, an open and a close then we should be okay um, with our brackets. All right, so we should be at a stage now where hopefully horse two is gonna be able to be moved along. So let's try that out. Um, we'll go control and enter. All right, and let's just uh, start the race here. Yep, horse two can be moved. Um, horse two though just keeps going and going, unlike Horse six, which ends because it has that collision detection with the rectangle, um, horse two keeps going. So that's the very next thing we need to work on. All right, so I need to set up horse two here so that it can collide with that little mini rectangle we've got there and it can finish. So let's go back into the action script, window actions. Let's have a look at what we did with horse six. With horse six, we had a um, if test here, if hit test object. All right, that we would make the finish message, the winner message visible. So that's if horse six um, hits the rectangle. So all we have to do actually is add in um, this stuff here. If horse six uh, finishes. So we just add it in right here, okay? And we just control C, control V, paste that in. But here we need to use an else if, okay? Because this is the if, and then otherwise go to this one, then otherwise go to that. So otherwise, if horse two, okay, hits the rectangle, then we want the winner message to appear, all right? So that should do it for us. Uh, let's have a look at how we're going at this stage. So control enter to run our race. We start our race, horse two is off and racing. Horse two has hit that rectangle as a winner, but horse two keeps going, all right? And it doesn't stop for the photo finish. And let's just try it if horse six uh, wins. So we'll start off, horse two's going okay. Oh no, the left arrow's making horse two go backwards. And horse six is one, but again, horse two will keep going, all right? We need horse two to stop wherever it was, so we sort of have this photo finish. All right, now how we're gonna do that is, um, if we just go to window actions, 
What we need down here is for horse two to stop. If horse six is one, just stop horse two dead in its tracks. Now, remember how we had this add event listener. We added this on so that we could do the move horse two function. All right, well, we take that guy, control C, copy him. And what we want to do is down in here, uh, what we need to do is control V, paste that in. But instead of adding the event listener, if we now remove that event listener out of flash, well then, um, it won't be checking if horse two is in the frame and horse two will actually stop. So that's all we need to do is we need to just use a remove event listener on horse two and that'll just take horse two right out of the action, all right? Flash won't know about horse two anymore, um, so it won't do anything with horse two, so horse two should stop. Okay, so let's um, give that a try, control enter. So we start our race, horse two's taken off here, running well, and horse two is now stopped for the photo finish. So this is all looking good. Let's just try it again with horse six winning. So horse two takes off, oops, a bit backwards there. Um, let horse six win, and horse two now cannot be moved. I'm pushing the arrow keys and horse two has stopped. So that's pretty much our game done. Uh, what we'll still need to do, though, is to uh, do this restart button function. So when the race finishes, we want a restart button to appear down here so that we can race again. And that will be the final part of the tutorial. So remember, in the YouTube uh, description for this video, there'll be a link to our website which has a full rundown on this, including all of the YouTube uh, tutorial videos for making this race. Okay, this is Passy's World of ICT, and thank you 